Many people have asked me how did I learn programming. I'm going to show you four books here that I've used that I think are really good, really important for uh, you know building up your basic knowledge in Python. I'm going to explain to you what is the purpose of each of these books and how to use them. So this one here, these two books, uh, okay, Automate the Boring Stuff and Crash Course, these are both serving a similar purpose here and let me explain exactly what. This is going to get you all the very, very tedious but very useful stuff that you need to know if you're going to do any kind of real world project or have any kind of job you're going to need to know how to do things like sending emails with python okay uh doing like scheduling tasks like automating things um using python uh, on like a timer a certain time each day things like uh, working with PDFs, like edit, automatically editing PDFs, things like this, Excel, scraping, web scraping, and also this will start you off nicely with the very basic things like functions and if statements. This book here will have a similar um, intro, such as learning the basics, just to get you up to speed, like if statements, but now it's not going to be that tedious stuff like emails, it's going to be more along the lines of projects that are like sort of games okay so it's going to give you some more insights into actually creating a little bit more interactive things instead of just working on emails and files and web scraping things like that so this this i found to be uh very useful now you know i haven't read every single line of these books but i have looked through these books and i have done some of these examples uh you know, a while ago, it was it was probably an earlier edition, but I definitely remember uh, using this book, and it was it was good. So uh, this here, I used an earlier edition of as well. But this is a great intro for learning about Big O notation and things like stacks and queues and you know graphs and trees and things like this, right? So like sorting algorithms. This this is like you need to know all of this stuff for basically any interview, right? Like this book is not gonna get you to be a competitor in, uh, in algorithms, in my opinion. It's not gonna get you, you know, there are some advanced topics here, but it's, 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 not, uh, it's, it's not as advanced, I think, as this book, which I spent far more time on this book than this one. This one is good, but this one is going to be the one where you're really spending a lot more time, uh, you know, really drilling down and learning these very important concepts uh, in here. So I've had actually exact uh, questions from this book in real interviews in the past. Um, so, you know, I would definitely recommend any of these books. Of course, I put them here in order of difficulty. So, you know, in my, my opinion of what the difficulty is. So, you know, if you're, if you're doing uh, kinds of projects, you don't really, you might not need, um, you might not need these advanced algorithms for like most of, you know, use of, of programming in, in, in your life. But if you're gonna try to interview at a, at a top company, you're gonna need this has the bare basics and this will this will prepare you for pretty much I think almost any any interview but these books are linked below uh, so you can check them out there in the description thanks